Autolite and its 96,000 dealers present Suspense. Tonight, Autolite brings you Going, Going, Gone, a suspense play starring Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard. Sold for $12. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the next item is very special and not in your catalog. Drag it out, boys, and be careful. It may be valuable. A very exciting buy, folks. Very exciting. Why? Oh. A trunk. Look. A trunk, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, a trunk. Contents unknown. Thank you, boys. It's an old trunk, folks. A mysteriously sealed old trunk. We are ordered by telegram to sell it at auction this evening. Unopened. Now, who'll stop the bidding? Wally. Five yes, dear. I'm going to bid on it. Oh, Jen, be sensible, will you? We've already bought a lamp, two chairs, and another original Venus de Milo statue. What do we want with an old trunk? I won't go over $10, Wally. $10? I should hope not. Oh, please, honey. It's got such lovely old stains. Please. It might be valuable. It's a very good buy, lady. Two dollars. Uh, Mr. Martin, I have two dollars here. Ridiculous. It's only two dollars. Do I hear three? Three, do I hear three? Two fifty. Two fifty. Three. Three dollars here, Mr. Merton. Three, three, three. Do I hear more? Three going once. Three going twice. Going for the third and last time at three. All done. Hey, let me through, please. Let me through. Sold to the lady for three dollars. Congratulations, lady. A very good buy. Wally, I got it. Wait, wait. I raise the bid. One hundred. I'll give one hundred dollars. Sorry, friend, you're too late. Uh, but I must have the trunk. Uh, Two hundred dollars. Sorry, friend, I told you I sold it to this lady for three dollars. Little man who came in at the last minute and bid two hundred dollars for that old trunk didn't fool me for a minute. They'll do anything at those auctions to make people spend money on junk, but they didn't fool me. We got it for $3. Well, later we went around to the back to pick up our stuff. Yes, that's ours. The statue, too, in the trunk. Right here, lady. Well, that's not the same trunk. It's newer. It's the same one, lady. No. The one you sold me was lovely and old. Look, the one you sold my wife had stains on it, and we want the one with the stains. That's right. I want what I bought. But I tell you, lady, we use the old one for a come on. Take this. It'll make you happy. No, we want the one you sold us. Oh. Okay. Okay, sure, I'll get it. I'll be right back. Honestly, Jan, sometimes I wonder about you. Oh, you do? Well, let me tell you something. That old trunk's got something in it. I know. You know. What about that funny little man who came in late and bid $200? I'll bet he made them offers that other trunk just now. Well, honey, that's part of the act. They want to make people figure it's valuable. Next Sunday, they'll have 50 old trunks to sell. All right, you wait. You'll see. You just wait. Well, we got our old trunk, paid for it, and carted it home. It sat in the middle of the living room. Big, old, and dirty with a lot of funny-looking stains. Jan was like a kid with a new doll. What do you think's in it, Wall? Hmm? The thing, maybe? (laughs) I don't know. It could be anything, couldn't it? Sure, anything. It... It's something like Christmas, you know? Uh, Are we going to stand here and talk about it? Let's open it and get it over. No, wait, not for a minute. I I just want to look. Why do you suppose that little man wanted it so badly? It can't be the same as the other trunks they've got. Jan, I thought you had more sense. Do you honestly think they'd sell us something for $3 if they didn't open it first to find out what's in it? It's heavy. It's filled with old clothes, roller skates, blunt instruments... So. Wall. Hmm? Guess what's in it. Now, look, this doesn't make any sense. Let's open it. No, it's more fun if we guess. You guess first. Oh, let's see. An old trunk. Pretty big. A lot of peculiar stains. Hmm. Big enough to put a butt. Will you stop this nonsense? Come on, I'll open it. Oh, wait. We'll, we'll open it together. Oh, the catch is stuck. I can't... Here, I'll, I'll do it. And it's stuck. You stand back. There. Well, go on. Open it. It's yours. Doesn't it scare you? 
Uh, just a bit. Scare me? <laughs> Kidding? There. Now, are you satisfied? Wally, I'm sorry. Look, nothing but a mess of old rags and papers. Three dollars, three hard-earned dollars for a pile of newspapers. Hey. Wally. Hey. Well, look, diamonds, gold r rubies. Wally. It's a fake. It must be. These aren't real. They look real. But... I'm, I'm scared. Well, there's nothing to be scared about anymore. Not real? None of it is. I don't know. Look, be sensible, will you? If this stuff were the real thing, I, I mean diamonds, pearls, emeralds and all, it'd be worth millions. It looks real, I mean it. A woman has a feeling about jewelry. She can tell. <laughs> jewelry. Look, did you ever see a diamond ring this big? Well, no, but... All right. Once and for all, I'll prove it to you. You think this is a diamond ring, huh? Yes, Wally, I think it is. This is a diamond. Okay. This is a diamond ring. Okay, now watch. Diamonds cut glass, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to scratch it on the window. Maybe this will satisfy you. Okay. There's your... Finger. I told oh. you. I told you they're real. We bought a trunk full of jewels. And that little man at the auction must have known about it. In just a moment, Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard in the second act of Going, Going, Gone. Hello, Harlow. Did you have a good Thanksgiving dinner? A meticulously made, marvelous meal. Hap and ignition engineered, too. An ignition engineered dinner? Sure. It went together perfectly, just like ignition engineered Autolite spark plugs go perfectly with the ignition system of your car for smooth performance. Who cooked, Harlow? Why, the same esteemed, enterprising experts who design Autolite spark plugs, just as they design the coil, distributor, and all the other important parts of the complete ignition systems used as original factory equipment on many leading makes of America's finest cars. Autolite ignition engineers, of course. They cooked the turkey. No, 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 Hap. These Autolite ignition engineers cooked the goose on poor engine performance hmm. because they designed spark plugs that are world famous for quality and dependability. Ignition engineered Autolite spark plugs. How was the stuffing? Well, the stuffing was knocked out of my old spark plugs, so my Autolite spark plug dealer replaced them with new ignition engineered Autolite spark plugs. Now I'm all set to desert. Mince pie? No, 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 Hap. Set to desert the garage and send my little lorry leaping along the lane like a lustrous limousine on the loose. So, friends, have your Autolite spark plug dealer replace worn-out spark plugs with world-famous ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs, either the standard type or the resistor type. See them tomorrow, because you're always right with Autolite. And now with Going, Going, Gone and the performance of Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard, Autolite hopes once again to keep you in suspense. Well, we sat and looked at the trunk full of jewels. We looked at the cut window. We didn't say anything, we just looked. Then Jan went into the kitchen. When she came back, she had a bottle of beer and two glasses. It's a funny thing about Jan. At the drop of a hat, she's got to celebrate. Of course, we had something to celebrate. About a hundred million dollars worth. What are we going to do with it? I don't know. I want to think. Maybe we ought to call the police. Why should we call I the mean, police? I mean, supposing it's all stolen jewels. Oh, yeah. Hey! The door. Somebody's at the door. Come on, get the rags and paper back in the trunk. We'll put it in the bedroom. It's probably only Mother. Or the guy from the auction. Come on, hurry. Why, right, you push and I'll pull. Well, I feel as if we've done something wrong. You gotta be careful. Uh, now shut the door. Look, if it is your mother, don't say a thing now, please. All right. How do you do? Uh, my name is Anatole Minchie. Yes? You are Mr. Pindell. Yes, that's right. You uh, bought a trunk this afternoon at the auction. <laughs> you see, I arrived too late to buy it myself. Well, uh, that's too bad. Too bad, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Pindell, I'll give you $200 for it. <laughs> Sentimental value, you understand. Uh, I'm very sorry, but we don't care to sell it. 
Would you mind getting your foot out of the door? Ah, you uh, have opened the trunk? Yes. Uh, uh, $50,000, then. You must be a very sentimental man. A hundred thousand, Mr. Pindell, my last offer. We needed a trunk. Good evening. I must warn you, the consequences will be upon your own head. This is your last chance. Think carefully. Good evening. Mr. Pindell, you're making a mistake. Please, I beg of you, please, take my offer. I heard it, Wally. What are we going to do? I don't know. It was that same little fellow. He's still there. I'm scared. Well, I'll call the police. No, 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 Jan. I mean it. He might have a gun. That little guy with a gun? Well, all right. Maybe it'd be better. Tomato aspic first. Please. Please. Hello? Please. I'm using the phone. Do you mind getting off? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? Uh, party line. What does that woman talk about all day long? Maybe you better drive down to the police. Wait a minute. Maybe he's gone. Nobody out there. He's gone. Well, what are we going to do? What do you mean? We bought the trunk. What's in it is ours. That isn't right, Wally. We'll get into trouble. What's the matter with you? Do you want us to live on my salary for the rest of our lives? We can retire, go to Florida, even Paris, anywhere. Buy a big car, a yacht, anything. I want all those things, too, but I'm scared. That man at the door, he might be a gangster. A, or a foreign jewel thief. Oh, for goodness. Suppose he's got other men with him. I'll try the police again. Chestnuts is the only stuffing I use. Of course, some people like oysters. Hello. Will you please hang up? I'm using the phone. This, this is an emergency. Nervous. Some people honestly lose the time, so I've tried to get the use of this phone for just five but minutes. I am trying to call the police. Any excuse. The rudest people. What was I saying, dear? Oh, yes, oyster stuffing. Well... She won't get off. Well, she's got to. Let me try no, it once. No, 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 wait. Maybe it's fate. Maybe we're not supposed to. Fate? You listen to me, but Wally. I don't see why you're making such a fuss. We're safe enough. I'm not afraid of... Wally. So I heard it. Don't you dare go. What do you want me to do? I don't know, but... Maybe it's your mother this time. Who is it? I'll scream out the window for help. You can't do that. What would the neighbors think? I'm going. Wally, you be careful. Here, take the poker. Okay, stay where you are. Wally, please, don't open but it. It's all right. Stay in there. Oh. Okay, I've had enough of this. Autolite is bringing you Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard in Going, Going, Gone. Tonight's production in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Hap lets you and I talk turkey. Oh, I can't, Harlow. I'm too full of it. <laughs> I mean talk turkey about ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs, Hap. Are you sure you're not giving me the bird, Harlow? No, no, Hap. So let's get to the meat of the matter. Ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs are the spark plugs that are world famous for quality and dependability. Go on, my roasting rooster. Okay, and Autolite spark plugs have passed rugged laboratory and field tests of automotive engineers to win selection as original factory equipment on millions of cars, trucks, and tractors. Why, man, you can't buy a better spark plug for your car than Autolite. That's the crowing I like to hear, Wilcox. So, friends, have worn-out spark plugs replaced with new ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs and enjoy smoother performance, quick starts, and gas savings. See your friendly Autolite spark plug dealer. And whether you choose the resistor type or the standard type, you'll be right because you're always right with Autolite. Now, Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard in Elliot Lewis's production of Going, Going, Gone, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. Wally, it's that same little man. What's wrong with him? 
Make him get up. The door. The door. Oh, 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 yes, the door. What happened? Where are you hurt? I don't know. You've been close to me. I've got to tell you. Yeah? We've got to do something. No time. No time they caught me. As I was coming back up here, they'll get you too. Oh? Who? What are you talking about? They're waiting outside. Later in the night, they'll come. The killers. Killers? Who are they? The, the jewels. Where are they? Well, they're, they're in the trunk. We put them in the bedroom. Uh, we can't let him die. Call the police, Wally. A doctor, something. Save yourselves. Get out of this house. Get out. Wally? Yeah, I guess so. Poor little guy. I'm scared. Wally, what are we going to do? No, 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 take it easy. Nobody's going to hurt you. Everybody swinging, swinging. What? Hello? Hello? Oh, for Pete's sake. What's the matter? Well, that old... She left her phone off the hook just for spite. She left it off. Oh, no. Hello? Hey, party line. Hey. Hey. Just wait. Next time I'm using the phone and she wants to get a call through, you just wait. You've got to think. Couldn't I scream out the window for help? Sure, and if they're waiting out there, you get killed like him. You've got to think. Wait a minute. Put out the light. I'm going to peek out. You stay behind the curtain, Wally. Don't let them see you. It was getting misty. I couldn't see to the end of the street, but near the lamppost, a couple of houses down, I saw a black car, big and long. Now, there are only two houses in our street, mine and a neighbor who wasn't home. And I'd never seen that car before thought of what was in the trunk and what was lying right inside the front door. The man doesn't like to show it, but as I looked out, I was scared. Can you see them? No, but there's a car down there. I must be in it. Come away. No, 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 wait a minute. What? Stay back. I can see lights. They're coming around the corner. Slowing down. She must be drunk. That's Mr. Fling. Oh, Mr. Fling, he won't be any good. He always comes home drunk on Sundays. Well, I'm going to try anyway. I just hope he's too drunk to get into the garage. Good, he didn't make it. Now, look, honey, I'm going to open the window and yell. Get down on the floor. They may start shooting. Oh, Wally. Mr. Fling! Hey, Mr. Fling! Well, why don't you shut up? You wake up the baby. Shut up. N Mr. Fling, it's Pindell. Wally Pindell. Oh, yeah. Now, listen. I... We're in trouble, Mr. Fling. You've got to call the police. Tell them to get over here in a hurry. Sure, okay. Now, get in your house quick. You're in danger, too. Yeah, okay. Thanks. He must be fairly sober tonight. He's going to do it. Oh, gee, if the police can get here in time. It's funny they didn't try anything. What, what are we going to do with him? Mr. Minchie? I don't know. You better put him in the bedroom, I guess. On our bed? Well, honey, he's dead. Poor guy. Look, you stay here. I'll carry him in. All right. I carried him into the bedroom and laid him down. I never touched a dead man before. I'd always thought they'd be cold. But he wasn't. Not yet. Then the doorbell rang. It's them. Shh. Stay with me. Shh. Yeah? Hi, pal. Oh, Mr. Fling. Anybody with you? Well, what have you got? A party? You want I should get a friend? Okay. No, no, no. Come on in quick. Don't push. Don't. Oh. I told you to call the police. Police? I thought you said police come on up and have a drink. Well, what's the matter? Somebody dead? <laughs> oh, hello, honey. 
uh, Jan, go make some coffee, will you? Something, anything. Yes, Wally. Now listen. Are you sober enough to listen? Who's sober? Oh, now, now look. We've got to get the police. All right, huh? Let me out. Some men are outside, and they're trying to kill us all. They've already killed one man. Yeah, who? Oh, it, it doesn't matter. Now listen, we can't use our phones, so we've got to get to another one. Oh, no. I know these wild parties. Get on my phone and call some dame in Paris, France. Oh, no. If you weren't so drunk, I'd... Now, come on, come on. Hey, 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 that hurts. Hey. Jan. Jan. No, he's no help. He's too drunk. Now, listen, I'm going to make a run for it. You can't go outside. They'll shoot you. Well, we're not going to stay here, that's for sure. Where's that drink? Where are you going? Well, I'm going to take another look out the window. Okay, okay. I'll go out to bed. Some party. Car's still there. Good evening, sir. Oh no, don't get up. Can't see if anybody's in it. Well, I've got to take the chance. Where do you go? Well, there's no good trying to get to Fling's house. They'd see us. I'll try the back way. If I can get to the garage, I might be able to make it to the police in the car. What about him? I don't want to stay here alone with him. Well, okay, you come with me. <laughs> We went out the back door. Everything was quiet, even quieter than usual because of the fog. I knew we couldn't be seen from the street. If we were quiet, then... Ah! Shh. It's all right. Place to leave a garbage pail. Can you see anything? No. I'll open the door. All right. Oh, I told you to oil it. Shh. Have you got the key? No, you've got it. No, I haven't. You drove this afternoon. I gave them to you. You did not. Oh, left them in the ignition. Get in. Wally, they must have heard the noise. What if they... Oh. When I get out of the garage, you duck down. If they try to stop us, I'll run them down. Oh, it's so loud. Shh. It's all right. Back. Hold on. Pendell, where's the black car? Here it is. It's right huh? over there across the street. Well, it's gone. Hey, maybe they're... Jan, you stay here. Oh, looks bad. The door's open. Now, you wait, Mr. Pendell. We'll go in first. Wally? I don't know yet. You guys search the back? Okay, Sarge. Mr. Pendell! Yes, yes, I'm coming. Who's this? Well, this is my neighbor, Mr. Fling. He's drunk. Yeah. Uh, where'd you say the body was? And the trunk? Well, in here, but... Well, he's gone. They must have taken him away. But the, the, but the trunk is here. Look. Yeah? The, the jewels, they're not here. Uh, Mr. Minchie, he was there. Now, listen. Don't look at me like that. I tell you, there was a trunk full of jewels. And Mr. Minchie, Jan, Jan, come in here and tell him, will you? Jan. Well, that was about it. The same trunk was there, empty. There wasn't a mark on the bed, and the dead body was gone. We managed to wake up Mr. Fling, but he couldn't remember anything except that he wanted another drink. Police were pretty mad, but I guess Jan convinced them we hadn't been kidding. Anyway, we gave him coffee, and that was that. There isn't much more to it, except that about two months later, Jan and I were having breakfast one Saturday when the mail came. Honey, do we know anybody in Mexico? I don't think so. More coffee? Uh, yeah. Look, it's from Mexico. I know, dear. You said so. Mr. and Mrs. Wallace Pindell. Hmm. Who's it from, dear? 
Well, Jan, there's some money in it. Two $100 bills. Let me see. What does the letter say? Dear folks, I'm sorry for the inconvenience I caused you, but it was my trunk and my jewels, and I had to get it back, so I know you'll excuse the little trick I played on you. For reasons best known to myself, I put all the jewelry in the trunk and by telegram ordered the sealed trunk to be sold at auction. Unfortunately, you beat me to it. Enclosed is a token of my appreciation. Sincerely, Anatole Minchi. Then he wasn't dead. Uh, uh, probably not. Well, we better tell the police. Why? Well, all those jewels, suppose they were stolen. He says right here that they're his. Who'd steal a trunk full of jewels? I know, well, but... Let's forget the whole thing. Pretend it never happened. But every once in a while, we're reminded of it. There's a diamond ring about as big as a half dollar. See, I'd put it in my pocket after I cut the glass out of our window. Jan used to wear it to parties, but not anymore. She thinks it looks too much like a fake. Suspense, presented by Autolite. Tonight's stars, Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard. What's that, Harlow? A turkey that got away? <laughs> no, Hap, that's a car gobbling up gas because of worn-out spark plugs that ought to be replaced with world-famous ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs. And you know, friends, Autolite makes more than 400 products for cars, trucks, planes, and boats in 28 plants coast-to-coast. These include complete electrical systems used as original factory equipment on leading makes of America's finest cars. Wire and cable, generators, coils, distributors, electric windshield wipers, starting motors, voltage regulators. All engineered to fit together perfectly, work together perfectly as part of the Autolite team. So friends, don't accept electrical parts supposed to be as good. Ask for and insist on Autolite original factory parts at your neighborhood service station, car dealer, garage, or repair shop. Remember, you're always right with Autolite. Next week on Suspense, Mr. Van Heflin as star of The Thirteenth Apostle. And in weeks to come, you will hear such famous stars as Alan Ladd, Dennis Day, and Cornell Wilde, all appearing in tales well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Elliot Lewis with music composed by Lucian Morawieck and conducted by Lud Gluskin. Going, Going, Gone was written for Suspense by Anthony Ellis. Ozzy and Harriet appear through the courtesy of H.J. Hines Company and may be heard every Friday in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. And remember, next week on Suspense, Mr. Van Heflin in The Thirteenth Apostle. You can buy world-famous Autolite resistor-type or standard-type spark plugs, Autolite stay-full batteries... Autolite electrical parts at your neighborhood Autolite dealers. Switch to Autolite. Good night. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.